something like that. Wow. Okay, let's keep an eye on this, everyone. Police chase happening live worldwide here on News Now in front of Fox and Phoenix.com. Obviously, too fast for police right now to do any sort of uh, pit maneuvers or anything like that. They just have to really guide this one, and uh, hopefully, uh, the suspect will come to his senses and say enough is enough, but we rarely see that. So let's all hope for the best, hope for the public to stay safe as well as all um, police officers that are involved, uh, involved in this chase, everyone. You're watching live. Thank you so much for being part of the News Now experience. Remember, when breaking news does occur, Mike goes right to it. And this is uh, Mike Page here with you today, the voice of car chases. Thank you. All right, so we just updated that lower third there for you. You know, let's hope here that this suspect will eventually give up here. Viewer discretion heavily advised. We don't know what the suspect is wanted for. Usually, though, it's because of a stolen vehicle or some sort of warrants there on the bad guy. We'll keep an eye on this for you. I'll give you a play-by-play -play as it is happening. Thanks so much for being part of the News Now experience, News Now stream. Look, at you. you can see about 15 police cars behind this suspect here, and it doesn't look like uh, the suspect wants to take any exits, wants to continue on the freeway here, and uh, we will see what eventually is going to happen. It's always these things. People ask me, they say, Mike, why do you think people just are just so in love with police chases. And I say, I think it's because you wanna see how they're all gonna wrap up. I've known people that have watched police chases for three hours straight. We, we've had a chase up here one time, it went three and a half hours. I didn't lose a viewer. I only gained viewers. Think about that. It's one of the most intriguing things to watch. I think it all stems from the O.J. Simpson days of when that chase went international for all of the wrong reasons if you really think about it, everything that was connected with that chase but this is a whole nother day this is in fort lauderdale florida different side of the coast we are watching here live for you on news now always we are your source for police chases we i mean we bring it to you from not only florida but from texas right here in arizona and of course the police chase capital los angeles So let's hope uh, eventually the suspect's going to come to his senses or her senses. We don't know what the suspect is, male or female. 90% they're male, 10%, you always get that different kind of look. And okay, we got a high, high rate of speed here now. They must be going more than 100 miles per hour. This is getting dicey uh, for everyone that is on the roadways here. Viewer discretion heavily advised here, folks. We just don't know what's going to happen next. Will it end in a crash? Will he finally give up? This guy doesn't look like he wants to give up tomorrow. He wants to, he wants to do this all day. So uh, it's gonna be some sort of crash or takedown here, a pit maneuver once the suspect gets off a freeway. I mean, you're, you're, you're talking about 5.15 in the evening now there. It should be rush hour, but it looks like he has a free range. See how it's tilt, um, swaying so much there, folks? He has not a good control whatever the reason is because he's swaying so much. But look at what we got here, folks. Now as we zoom in here, that's a Corvette. We have a Corvette chase going on here on News Now. Corvette chase, so you know these speeds are going to get up there, you know. The handling is going to be quite good, but giving the look that I'm seeing when he's swaying, I'm not sure about that. Stay right here with us, it looks like. Could he be getting off? Wow, he's getting off the freeway here. Uh, those speeds will decrease now, and that's gonna give the opportunity for police to do some sort of pit maneuver here. What's he doing? What's he doing? Okay, just a dead stop. Your discretion advised here. Police, uh, okay. Oh no, not one of these again. Not one of these again. He just did what happened in our last chase out in California. Oh, oh, they tried to take him down right there. Corvette swings out of the way. Now is the be time. Oh, he had the opportunity right there, police officer. One more. He has another shot at it. Does he want to take it? No. 
I was mentioning the last chase we were having this the suspect was doing the same thing the stop and go stuff look at man they had him they had him right there trying to get off now he's back on the oh boy come on do it right there one more shot one more shot oh man and folks, we are back at it. The Corvette show continues here on News Now, part of Fox 10 Phoenix.com, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, hoping all police officers stay safe, all everyone out there in the community as well. As you can see, cars trying to pull over here. They know what's going on. They know they got 20 cars behind them. Okay, what's going on here? It's in the left lane here. Do a UE, can't do it. I told you, he doesn't have good control, folks. Stay focused. We are focused here for you on News Now. Okay, what's gonna come on? Here comes our here comes our guy. There it is. Little little push. Little bump right there. Okay. He's gonna get out there. He's gonna run for it. He's gonna make a run. Ditch the Corvette. He got a little bump and got sideways there. Let's see what's gonna happen. He's in a parking lot situation. Ooh, can he hop it? Can't can't see there with that business. There's some sort of building right there. He's gonna go in the back of this uh Parking lot area, takedown will happen though. He's gonna run out of gas. This guy did not have some good, some good legs on him. As uh, takedown by police, great job by police officers there. Wow, Corvette Jace wrapping up there in Fort Lauderdale, Florida.